Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm going to show you how to take a laptop, a projector, and about $100 worth of other stuff and make your own interactive whiteboard. With this whiteboard, you can start using technology in a totally interactive way to start teaching others. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is set up the laptop. and then the projector. Next, connect the video input of the projector to the video output of the laptop. Now it's time to turn on the projector and adjust the image for the proper size. Don't forget the lens cap, I always do. When you're adjusting the projector, make sure that you don't make the image too big Remember, you're going to be using this as an interactive whiteboard. Most laptops require you to press some sort of function key to switch the viewer from the laptop screen to the projector image. So go ahead and push those keys now. So far, this is pretty basic stuff. So where's the magic? The magic is right here, in the form of one Nintendo Wii Remote. There's no need to have a Nintendo Wii system, you just need the Wii Remote, because on front of the remote control is an infrared device that picks up a signal, which is exactly what we need to make this interactive whiteboard. The first thing we need to do is connect it with the laptop. This is done via Bluetooth wireless connection signal. A lot of laptops have Bluetooth built in, but mine didn't, so I went out and purchased a $20 USB Bluetooth dongle. Next, you need to configure the computer's Bluetooth signal so that it recognizes the Wii Remote. This is going to look different on every single computer, so just follow the steps that you need. There are two important things to remember. When the computer asks you to turn on the device, press the 1 and 2 buttons together so that the lights on the Wii flash. Also, the computer will ask you if the device needs a pass key. The Wii doesn't need that. Now, you just need to place the Wii Remote so that the infrared device can get a good view of the projected image. I purchased a special battery cover so that I can mount my Wii Remote to a camera tripod. The best placement for the Wii Remote is at about a 45 degree angle from the screen. Also, it works best to place it at the opposite hand that you write with so that it can always see the screen. Now, just two more pieces of magic and we're ready to start using the whiteboard. Since the Wii works on an infrared principle, we need an infrared signal. This pen is nothing more than a battery, an LED light that emits infrared, and a little push button. You can build one of these pens for about three bucks, or you can just go out and buy one for about eight. And last but not least, we need some software. Go to www.smoothboard.net and download the application. You can purchase this application, although it is free for educational use. The only problem is there's an annoying nag screen, but other than that, it's awesome. Now, you just need to push the calibration button on the software, and we can calibrate the Wii Remote, the projector, the software, and everything is going to start working. Is this a smart board or Promethean board? Absolutely not, but this is a heck of a lot cheaper, and there are some additional cool features that are only available on this Wii system. The main thing is that the software allows you to click off of the projected image and set up some shortcut keys. So in this example, I've set it up that if I click off the whiteboard, I can actually right click, which is something that's a pain in the neck if you ask me on a smart board. I hope you have enjoyed it. I think it's something you gotta give a try. And happy whiteboarding.